What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and I'm coming to you live from CES 2016 and we're hanging out with ZTE taking a look at some of their affordable budget smartphones that they have coming out and this is the ZTE Avid Plus. Uh, so starting with the design here, it's got an all plastic build uh, and it actually feels pretty nice in the hand despite being made of plastic and the nice benefit to this design is that it has a removable back which you don't really see much on smartphones anymore so it gives you access to the battery and the micro sd card slot underneath on the front of the phone is a 5 inch lcd display with a resolution of 480 by 854 uh, which is a pretty low resolution but it is a budget smartphone after all and it's a display that simply just gets the job done Going over some of the other specs here, you're looking at a Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor with one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of internal memory. And that is expandable via micro SD for up to an additional 32 gigabytes. With the cameras, you're looking at a five megapixel camera on the rear and a two megapixel front facing shooter, uh, which again is nothing amazing, but should get the job done and be able to capture the moments that you need. The battery inside is of the 2300 milliamp hour variety, uh, which sounds pretty small in this day and age, but should be more than enough to get a phone like this through a full day, uh, if not a little bit more. Software wise, you're looking at Android 5.1 Lollipop currently, and it's a mostly stock version of Android. ZTE hasn't really done too much here in terms of customization, but they added just enough just to keep things interesting. Uh, but for the most part, it's a very clean Android experience. Pricing is still to be determined for the Avid Plus, but expect this phone to come in at a very affordable price point, and it's going to be available on carriers like Metro PCS and T-Mobile. Uh, so it's going to be a great entry-level smartphone for anybody that's looking for a, uh, a great Android smartphone that isn't going to break the bank and offers a lot of nice functionality. But that's going to do it for this quick hands-on of the ZTE Avid Plus. There's definitely a lot more to come, so stay tuned for the rest of our CES 2016 coverage.